Astralis know it's common just as easily, and you can see the grenades. As soon as Zip tosses his, there's going to be another one bounced off from Dark. Oh, there's the first, the second one. Oh, he missed it. He missed the nade. It actually lands on Zip. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but doesn't land it equally onto Ents. Fighting to get out, fighting to create space, and Blame F and Config are holding them at bay for the moment. That was a nice headshot from Config. He actually tapped him mid-air. But you're right, that one grenade, it could have made a huge difference. Luckily for them, they had, like you said at the beginning, three people at the bomb site. So, yeah. really yeah. cool philosophy to adopt. Yeah, that's super helpful, right? And it's true to some extent as well. If you if you are trying to set up your teammates, it's not always going to be you on the scoreboard. The team could win this round, though. A little bit rough up the gate, underpass, and then config running around catwalk and getting a kill. Blame F going to be picking off Madden right then and there, and Dha's going to be caught by Farley. Pushing through the smoke, so they don't even read whatever they wanted ends in this round. Whatever the plan was, they don't even get to try it. 25 seconds on the clock. Hades and Connector walking up the steps, looking into the bomb site. Might see a jiggle from Zipex at some point, but he spotted first. Angle is held, and the kill is found. A lot of deagles in play. Oh, that didn't look like both players were moving, and still somehow Snappy managed to connect on that shot. It's pretty good. Yeah, I did not think that was going to connect. I didn't think that was going <laughs> to land as powerfully as it did. Oh, look at this. Shadow is shown. Diha, he's got a freebie. He's just marched up. Good shot from Farlog, or else he surely would have gone down, but he's got to back away. The only one in the bomb site doesn't know where the attention is going to be coming from. Config goes down. Window now exposed, and Farlog in a lot of trouble. I don't think they can win this. I think this has got to be maybe Zipix just helping Farlog to survive. And just try and see if you can uh, if you can live for the round. Although he is back looking for it. He's about to get shot in the back. Surely no way that he lives through this one. And that's the AWP given over. I think you called it right earlier. I, this is just almost impossible. I understand why you want to try and do it, obviously, because it feels... Maybe to get back into the round if they were to maybe find someone on the cross. And then all of a sudden you're in a two on three. I think at some point when things were quiet, they felt like this was still a winnable situation. And for, for their insolence, they lose everything. Hades has been really cool to watch throughout this whole tournament. So, oh, he tried to duck under it, but he's not going to be good enough. A double opening instead. Doesn't get any better than that. They get loose Sphinx coming out of the A apps, but still, they have plenty of time. They don't actually have to keep pushing this so much right now. Four versus three, they can actually leave Astralis hanging for a little bit. What in God's name is happening, Config? Did he just try and do a jump scout shot up against the Tentris boxes? Yeah. Well, I mean, he was just jumping to get information. I think he just took the shot just out of out of just standard reaction. Man, Ents, they take advantage of this. This is a slow creeping attack on the bomb, so they're forced out a decent amount of utility, forced Astralis to make awkward plays to try and come back into the round, and they've just worked him. Four player is going to survive for Ents. Blame F. Trying to hide in window. Finds one kill. Bomb has been planted. Ooh. Fakes it. Pretends to jump down, but actually goes back in. No one's hurt him, I think, so might not make a big difference, and he's going to be found in there, but that's a nice trick. I appreciate that. What's up, guys? Check out hotpizza.gg, a really good case opening website. Recently, Hot Pizza has added really cool new operational cases. For example, in this new case, you can get a special rare item, which guarantees you 100% profit. Also, they are holding a new event as well. First, select your preferred payment method and for every one dollar deposited, you get one bomb. Once you get a hundred of them, you can open a new operational case for free and get a nice bonus item. Also, don't forget to use my code METS to get 50 cents for free and start opening more cases. The website has many other modes like case openings, case battles, and case upgrades. Link to the website is in the description below. They've, they've woken up ends pretty early on in this map, and that's... It's not so good, so they need something. Gun barrel showing that is... That's a jump. Nade coming, and it's got him. Couldn't get through the hole fast enough. A little bit of a mistake from Farlick. He almost gets away. It's punished afterwards, but Blame F is there to pick up the pieces. He got the first kill at top mid. Now he's found another one. Madden jumping into the window. Maybe thought he was going to be covered by the smoke, but not entirely, so it falls on Sphinx. This duel is massive for Ence's future. Big win. That might force the hand of Zipix. It looks like he is a little bit anxious to maybe move forward. Snappy, though, again, kind of making signals like he wanted to check the corner, but didn't really. And that cost them a lot. 45 seconds now. Spinks and Hades, two versus three. And a conflict just in a good position. Right place, right time. 
And Spinks should not be able to win this one. Molotov will force Config into the fight. He does do a little bit of damage to Spinks, and now there's a little bit of follow-up from Blamef in the window. They're going to lose three members of Astralis, but it's, a, it's good that they won the round. They steal the all. Yeah, um, so uh, that's it's so, it's, so cool, it's so cool to see him on this lineup. I actually yeah. think that's really awesome. We should tell someone should go investigate that story a little bit more. He's been around for a long time. Oh, oh the lineup <laughs> jumped down in front of him, and Blame will get a double of his own. I, I mean, <laughs> what can you say about that? Yeah, you have to be happy if you're Zipix. That's a nice, easy way to line up, too. It's Glaive as the initial defender, but Blame F is challenging around the edge of the smoke. A lot of damage onto Blame F, but Config's trying to go over a really quick flank through T spawn, so we'll see if that's going to be happening in time. A good double kill for Glaive will certainly slow them down, and that's going to essentially give more space for Config to do what he's up to. Sip will win that fight easily, but Sphinx is up there. they got to be a little bit careful again. He's lightning accurate. <laughs> then again, shows Farlig and Stihar on his own, one versus three, and it's really hard to do anything about this from his point of view. It's the flank that he's got to worry about, but never even considered it. Too many other players challenging and keeping presence and keeping attention in the other direction. Yeah, he's done that quietly again, has it? Wasn't there a game yesterday where yeah. he was? He had like a crazy like 18 and 2, and we were like, oh, oh, there we are. Yeah, he's uh, doing a, a great job. Flame F caught out in the open, still finds the kill. Madden as well, didn't want to swing for Player on Catwalk, I think player and connector as well. A lot of pressure. That means the A hit has to be impactful, but Farlick's got a great angle, and Glaive's already back to defend. Hades with one. He's surely going to go down now as Farlick just holds it, and that's nice and easy. Deny access to the choke point. Farlick and connector looking underpass. Didn't have the timing on the scope, but Zipix found Madden. He did, and if they were near B, maybe they could try and do something about it because they realize Sip is getting that kill, but they're so far away that even if they make that call, they, they can't really use it for anything. Falik, very adventurous, scoped up walking. He couldn't see anything there by the boxes. So Snappy will get the kill. It's actually fine. That's a good round from Farley. Coming back, picking off the Palace player. You know, likely it's just a lurk. There's going to be nobody else. Him and Glaive were trying to aggress, but Snappy's never going to expect Glaive to be following up the alt play. Oh, great from D up it there. It is exactly. Why would you ever expect it, Glaive? About to save the round. Swings out and grabs the final one. Beautiful work from the Astralis captain. Yeah, how frustrated. This otherwise, I mean, that double opening towards jungle was everything they needed to win the round. And it gets stolen away. Smooth work. 10 to 3. This is like the perfect point in the calendar year for this for this lineup to actually work. So if that is in fact what's happening, well then it's we're gonna we're gonna move into an even more interesting season of counter fight than we thought. It's already looking good, but it could be even better apparently. Config with a double or kill to try and defend the bomb site with. And Madden goes down as Blame F will spray every single last one of them down. Yeah, this is rough. You're exactly right. Not just like, I mean, the performances of Astralis that are, are now starting to be impressive. Remember, this is the map they were dominant on yesterday again to close out that series. Yeah. Um, but also the fact that their map pool is now starting to feel a little bit, little bit better, a little bit more confidence ac across a number of maps. Excuse just, me, that's a third player coming under past Hades. It's just Madden on Catwalk. So three in the upper tunnels. This can work really well if they get just the right opening against either Config or Sip. But again, if they get slowed down, it's not going to be quite the same. Snappy swings out and he finds Config. It's a great start. Snappy kind of did his job, but Sip is back here. Oh my god, and he wipes them all out. A quad kill to end the half with. Amazing work for Astralis, and they are primed to win this first map. We'll see if they can in the second half right after this. More grenades than last time. So I guess they're going to smoke the market, probably try and smoke one of the two sides of the pillar, and then just go for it. Jumping yeah. right down, and no one's defending. You mentioned this in the first pistol. The three people defending, this time basically none. And Madden's already gone down. Blamers are hunting. He's working on his 25th kill right now towards that catwalk position. Snappy's gone down, and Config is relentless. He's actually, instead of defending the, the, the after plant, he's out hunting already. He's just, he's ready to fight. Farley taking a fight with Dihar here towards the market, but there's not much ends can do to win this round right now. Two versus four, and the bomb is already planted. Yeah, and you, you got a feel for him to a certain degree, just a blind call. That was just the perfect call Astralis had, just a fast play towards the B bomb site for the defense that was being set up. Ents was way more focused on middle. Looking like Astralis is gonna speed run Mirage. Ents' pick. On take enough bullets in the Galil that he could afford to throw some of them into the smoke. Oh. There's a good shot. At least one kill. Convict comes through. 
able to hold on to top con only one more player that he's got to deal with i mean there's just too many weapons keeping these guys at bay even with the kill there's no progress forward hades is going to go down snap he's gone down diha falls last and 14 to 3. run out of ways to describe their dominance maybe we know how we can just enjoy it we don't have to we don't have to describe it so much okay we, we just we were just witnesses to to what's happening shot from sip against hades all the way back there stuck behind the boxes someone's gonna have to get him out of there blame f has the most hp everyone else is really susceptible to the two scouts that are picked up good jump over good kill on it and still one player hiding in the back blame f now stepping up to the plate to get involved in the action and they need him it's hard for them to guess that Farley's back there because they've already got one kill in that corner. So in their minds, just because of the stress especially, it might be hard to think about the fact that there's a, a second player back there. Dehan out, unfortunately, on his own. So slowing it down for Astral has really helped out. And they got some of the fights that they needed here. I think I think this round, if you're Astralis, you're at 15, right? It's 15 to 3. But the fact that it's happening now with a little bit of a delay, still pretty pretty damn cool no but i think you know i think one of the one of the oh there's 29 hold the phone on the thought there's 30. <laughs> he's got him perfect he's winning the map on his own oh. <laughs> oh it's ridiculous he's taking out madden as well i can't believe it jason what a, what an incredible power performance from astralis here 31 and 5. yeah I was going to say, I mean, it's it's kind of cool that they had, I mean, we all knew when Astralis had that great run in this line, lineup first came together at the Blast Finals last year, and then just kind of disappeared off the map and, and weren't all that impressive. We knew there was going to have to be some shuffling, figuring out how to make this team work, and obviously, as you mentioned earlier, peaking at the perfect moment here at the Blast Showdown in a bid to make it to the finals in Lisbon. That's a beautiful first map from Astralis. And now we're going to see how it plays out. Astralis on the T side, Ents on the CT side. They kind of lean towards the B bomb side, but they swiftly divert with a flashbang to take down Snappy in the Jaguar tunnel. That's a good start and a four on five victory here, at least for Astralis right now. They can control a lot of the map. And I wonder if Ents are going to go looking for some information now. That's such a brutal flashbang. That is game planned by Astralis the whole way. Oh, they just started rotating away from the B bomb side. I don't know if they're going to be in great position. Hades is activated. Needs one more. Needs one more. He knows double doors. One's coming. Counter flash. He's blinded and config with the duelies is going to hold on to the bomb site. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> he's doing it all. There's no stopping him now. He's thinking about it. The duelies are back in action. He's got so many bullets, but finally Spinks will take him down. Very important. And first, uh, first kill in that battle goes to Spinks, so it's worth keeping an eye on there. Flame F with one good kill, but Spinks has shown up and he's going to try and get more. Sip is very low on health. He's going to be found and they'll have enough time for the defuse as well. Nicely done from Enz. Not easy. Clean wall bang, but he did at least see him. I'm hoping. <laughs> Dia is <laughs> CT spawn, trying to defend it. Some interesting jiggle peeing going on from Farley there that actually gets in the kill on Dia. And we're still in a four on three, but they're running out of time right now on the Astralis side. Oh, no, side. that timing. Yeah, that is horrible. Hades has gone down. Madden's shown up. Maybe the only one that can win this round right now for Enz. He's trying to do the best that he can with the MP9, and he's being real effective, trying to swap into the duelies. And I wonder if he did enough. Sphinx has shown up currently with no nades and no, no kit. kit. Yeah, that's a problem. Going to be the full 10 seconds right now. Doesn't seem like there's one on the ground either, but he's sneaking up, trying to find it. He's in the crossfire. He almost transfers it right away. And if he had the kit now, man, he could put so much pressure on Blameth, but he just has to stay alive and he can't. Instant headshot. Well played from Sphinx. Yeah, and that puts a lot of pressure on Diha. He's now the only person who's able to watch middle and watch the A bomb site. So he's just kind of jumping around trying to find the right position at the right time. Good kill from Hades. Glaive didn't expect the aggression, and that's a massive, massive catch from Diha. Brings it into a three on three. They're equalizing frag. And Farlig, you have choices. Do you want to try and push up middle, or do you want to try and take over this A bomb site? Open up an option for your teammates. Look at them. Oh, they're going to be found again. Hades doing so much work. He got caught in the beginning and could have been dead right away, but he stuck around and now he's got a double kill and he slowed him down. I think they wanted to sneak into the Jaguar tunnel, have Farlik put a little bit of pressure on A and then actually just catch them as they rotate back out of B. Now there's only 24 seconds. They're going to catch Farlik and it means Blame if it's on his own with 20 seconds. He almost has to get this kill and put the bomb down right away before Madden shows up. And I think even the window for that is closing every single second right now. Ten of them left, by the way. He's going to try and go for it. Smokes up. Oh, yeah. He's so dead. Hades saving the round with just an MP9. Yeah. And you're absolutely... He's been 
I mean, for at least 30 seconds, he was just hiding in that corner and they were not ready for it. Glaive comes back, but he's going to lose the fight. And Astralis, they're in so much trouble. Less than 30 seconds now. They can't really go back to the bomb site. They kind of just have to power on through. And there's three people defending. None of this seems like it's going to be possible for them to win on any level. A little bit of wall bang, but they don't really find Madden in there. 17 seconds on the clock, and this defense is looking powerful for Ents. They needed the return. They needed a little bit of a comeback from what happened on that first map, and now they actually are off to a good start. That's why they were able to put some of those shots through. I'm not sure he's realizing what's happening on the other side there, but... Glaive is actually being a real nuisance. Good spray down, and it actually was Glaive from the other side who got the kill and not blame him pushing through the middle, so that's a little bit interesting. Four on four, though. I'm surprised Spinks kept up with that play. I mean, with that, with, even with the information he's being shot at and spammed through the smoke, he even saw the jump, and it's all falling apart now for Jens. Oh, man. Snappy. Can recover, holds the line, first headshot is his. No zip is to the right, knows they're an opper on the B ramp as well. And he's gonna re-aggress, he's gonna take the risk. This is everything, this could turn the round back. And the longer the, this goes on, the worse it gets, because they're walking up behind him to eventually put the bomb down, and that'll kind of force his hand. Oh, he goes for it and he finds Sip, that is a huge frag right there. Let's see if Enz can actually steal this away. One of the best rounds so far for Astralis. A real chance for them to finally get on the board. And they need it a lot. Trying to get out the tunnel now. There's only a smoke on Farley. Good. Difficult to put it up, though. And he's going to go down. Misses the AWP shot. And Glaive is low on health. He gets the one. But now they know where he is. And Madden comes in for the kill and the clutch. He got spammed. To, to establish some control. Yeah. But they're running out of rounds to do that with, really. And I mean, that's such a great... Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> I don't... Won the fight. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but we'll... T I mean, he'll take that. <laughs> Flash is out. Snappy maintaining aggression. They have d in the, the bomb site, and Sphinx is down mid, so he can kind of come up, and if he wants to be risky, if he can ignore middle... This is around Astralis, like, really just can't lose, and I think they're going to get a gift here. It looks like we're going to get d pushing up. The question is, how far does he want to go? Oh, that's a huge win. That's a huge win. And they've even started rotating Sphinx over to be in position for when d falls. He wants one more. Ooh, good shutdown from Config, and Astralis should have their first round of the opening half. That's the kind of Config you, you want to see on this map that we haven't seen as much of as we would want. Hades set up with the AWP. That's an aggressive scope at that range. Yeah, he stepped in front of the Molotov. Good timing. Just double scoped, and Sphinx is going to add Zipix on top of it. He's even going to turn around and grab Glaive. Snappy obliterates them in lane. Great hold from Ents. That worked perfectly. Oh, it's a bit crazy. Oh, that's fortunate, and he's got another one. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously, going to be some kind of an execute. Here come the nades. Smoke is out. Nade is out as well. Oh, they bounced that HE right off the totem pole. That actually was very effective. Three versus five, and again, there's a lot of presence here at the B bomb side. Now everybody's confused. Snappy went into the smoke while he was reloading and then came back out to get the kill. Nothing that Farley could do here. A nine to one lead for Enz and an absolute shutdown. A little bit on the ramp, it can, it can actually bounce further down and then suddenly it becomes really shallow, uh, which, which might not be what you want. They're gonna try and go for it again. And more grenades are on the ramp, but they do make it through in a good fashion this time. Madden gets caught trying to retreat back. Snappy's taking a fight here. They want to see if they can bring him down. Sip through the smoke will get the job done. Oh, spam is here, but it, he's behind the totem pole on the other side. So at least not able to get caught right away. Three on three as they catch Dihar and they're ready on the other side. An unlikely round for Astralis, but whatever it takes at this point. It's super fast paced. They're not even trying to hide the game whatsoever. Good flashbang. Hades way too far out. Way too far out. No chance of recovery. And Astralis pushing, pressing the issue in every choke point. Farlig has the deep angle in ruins now with the AWP. And I don't think anyone from Mensa is going to want to deal with that. Good peek. That's bomb hitting the deck. Yeah, it's, it's really cool map control for Farlig, but they need the bomb plant. <laughs> nice flick from Blameth. That'll get the job done, and finally decides that AWP in a two-on-two, -two, not what he wanted. Blame F. Timing. Oof. It's close. Molotov will kind of force the fight on the other side of the donut, so could be interesting. Snappy, though, he's going to find some space oh, now. Nade. Nade to follow it up, but he's still alive. And Farley misses the elbow. He's going to get that one straight center mass. And Snappy goes down, and they managed to win that one. It's a big victory, and Snappy again has been playing this position alone a lot. There's a flash from Hades if they want to try and time it with the smoke clearing, especially with mid control. He might be setting it up. There's the flash, although no peek from Snappy. Just 
Just allows them to get away safely as the Molotov burns them out of position. Five on three for Ents. I guess they could go back to the A-bomb side if they wanted to, but it's a long way. Because you have to walk for the first dis distance before you're going to give up the whole game, right? And you kind of have to walk when you get to the other side too. Okay, walking under the bomb side. Speaking of which, but they line up for Madden. Easy enough double right there. And Blameth now on his own to try and clutch it one versus four. He's not looking like that's going to be possible right now. 29 seconds. Swings out. Does do some damage to Deha, but it is not enough. A 10 to 5 lead in favor of Enz. I would trust myself with low HP more than you with full HP. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, B-Rush. Let's get it on, Glaive's got the first kill. A Little bit blind, he's gonna sink back and everyone from Astralis is gonna get into safety. Safety of the pack. Farlik adds another as Madden tries to be aggressive. And man, a five on three post plant and Ensign tough positions. They're stuck inside the bomb site. Well played for Astralis to not take that fight even though it can be tempting to defend the bomb site. Probably better to stay alive and just, like you said, come back as a whole pack. We've got Blamef on the dualies as well. So far only the one kill and Hades back here. P250 to defend one versus three. An almost impossible task at this point in the round. And <laughs> they're gonna be ready. They're gonna be so ready. Farlik will take him down, triple for him and Astralis will win the pistol. You can see the road ahead for Ents could definitely lead somewhere bad at this point in time. But it all depends on how much Astralis can establish, how much dominance they can get at the beginning here, and if they could build any kind of an economy. And so far, Madden's at least catching config. It's a good, it's a good bit of work to begin with. Blame if. Hmm. No okay. care. Tapping away, probably a little bit surprised. Could okay. have been simply looking at the radar or something else like that. Didn't look like he was quite ready for that one. Glaive, hoping to defend it. It's a lot of damage towards Snappy, Ooh. but he spot his friends. Hades, amongst others. This might seem crazy, but I feel like Farlek has a, has a decent enough chance. I think he needed that kill. Maybe the nade. Maybe the nade can get it. Oh, Hades. Cut down in the open. There's a couple low HP players on this, but that flank from Sphinx is oh so powerful. One kill would really seal this fake. Config and Donut. Zipix, the first one in contact. That's a very, very important kill for the defense to realize what's coming. Deep angle, no smokes in position. That's a lot of distraction, but somehow each and every kill goes the way of ends. Hades, Madden, and Dia all synchronized fragging. And the bomb site's lost. They're up to 14. Remember, again, three defenders there at that bomb site. They all just they all just fall apart. Ooh. Yeah. I feel like. Probably partially because I think right now Ents on the T-side are getting more control than Astralis really were on their T-side. Yeah. But they're doing a pretty cool job right now. Charging right in. He's still going. Oh, he's right at the edge. I mean, if he would have gone through, Farley would have caught him definitely. And they are paranoid about this idea. What an opening from Snappy that pulls everyone away except for Config. Sticking around. I understand what Madden wanted to do there, but timing was a bit early. Sphinx defending the bomb plant. Hugely important. And it's a three on three. The weapon's not really there for Astralis, but they could go for the retake. Config looked like he almost let Spinks go, but somehow he's back to find him anyway. And now it's a two on three. Snappy's going to be found, and it's looking real great for the retake here. Hades on his own, and he's on that ramp. Smoke is up with the AWP. He misses the blind one through. Oh, but that could be it. Ten second defuse. It lands on top oh of the bomb. Oh, my God. <gasps> They're all just watching it. Oh, they have to go for it right away. Oh, he's calculated it. Yeah, I think he's done it. Yep. Takes the damage. Well calculated. He had the latest software update zip, so he knew exactly when to go for it. <laughs> oh and he wins God. it. Of course, it's Zipix as well. It just has the perfect timing. He's certainly fallen back, and he, it's a good idea because he's got finally gone that crossfire, so maybe worth it. 80s. Gonna be bested by Farley deep in CT spawn. Three versus five, and Config just runs in for that headshot. So accurate. Good triple defense from him. Interesting. Okay, posture like you're gonna hit the B bomb site through Donut. There's two defenders here. Farley's. Oh my lord, he's gonna miss one. And Config is only able to go one for one. Fluffed shot from Farlick could spell disaster in the round. Astralis have to come over and probe and see what they can get to create this retake. Molotov down won't stop the plant, but there goes Snappy. That's the frag they needed. 
Yes, it is. Kind of makes this retake a little bit more doable. How do they dig out these remaining ends players? Sip is making a lot of noise, getting close here, hoping to get someone to peek in, but there's two people here, and if they time it right, he's going to be in trouble. There's one of them. Good return. Diha will win the fight and almost takes down Blame as a one versus one, and here's where that smoke would have been real handy for him to try and force Hades into the fight, but he's going to give it up, and it'll be ends to get to 15 rounds. Yeah, that's huge. Blame after just prioritizing the utility knows, yeah, as you said, without that smoke and with only, what, like 30 HP before that bomb goes off, there is no reason for him to get into that fight that Hades can just toy with him all day. Oh. This could have been a double. Yeah. I mean, even just one would have been great. Yeah, double or nothing. <laughs> even one would have just been exactly what they needed. Like you're responsible yeah. for the loss. It could have worked. Here we go, 15 to 11. Oh, flashed in. Glaive on the assist, but Snappy able to pick it up with a Mac 10 somehow. Sip trying to take over some of the responsibilities of holding this A bomb site. He swings out after the flashbang, and it is really good. Madden goes down, now he smokes it up. You can see it's all just on his spine. He's just working off of autopilot almost. I love this. Put the fear of God in him if you're config. They're delayed. <laughs> he actually wallbanged him. Perfect. Still, everyone's going to be set up for config who's wrapping all the way around. This is just delay, like maybe another five seconds, and he's going to have a double. He's going to take the first. He doesn't even care. He'll find the second. The silencer means there was no communication possible. D had no idea to pass over to Hades. One missed shot, and maybe that's all you need. Blame if they're going to try and see if he could follow it up. But they're ready for it, though. Snappy absolutely saw it coming. And I I don't, I know Blame if has been doing that a lot, but I feel like there was no one in middle even that could have thrown a flashbang for him. Tough to handle now. Although two defenders here with Glaive and Donut. If Config gets one, he'll have to stand and fight, and then Glaive can respond. But now oh, they're huddled up together. Oh, Config goes down. So does Glaive. Yeah, they fell back again. I think there was something with that initial play in middle that got called off because then you have config in that position that was improvised, Glaive and Donut. Yeah, there's a whole ride together, die together moment there. <laughs> they died. So. Bad boys for life. <laughs> Short as it was. Bali gets caught as well. And Sim, this is and now it's getting real tricky. I mean they have some money in the bank, actually a lot of money in the bank, so I guess losing that doesn't really matter, but um Wow, there we go. Ed's yeah. able to pick it up. In the end, I really was hoping maybe that we could see a, a, a little bit more action. Only be one team advancing, and we're going to find out which one right now. Oh, Glaive with an opening to take down Madden. That's a, a nice start. All the way out by that blue container. Jihad, though, back for a quick revenge. And he He's might even spot that no one else is there, so they're going to be trying to go for it. They don't want to wait any longer. Astralis trying to see if they can overpower this A bomb site, and they're already in looking for the plant. And oh, it gets almost interrupted. That was close, but Diha gets denied by Config. Finally, there comes the bomb plant, and they're trying to get out the smoke, but they're getting shut down as they do. Falling onto the floor of the bomb site is Hades, but it's too much. There's too many people on the other side, and it will be Astralis to pick up the pistol. We're just going to get a set piece towards the upper bomb site. You can see Glaive just itching with that MAC-10 to lead the way to create the space for Config. He's going to go to the right. Dia takes him down from above. Config's got to check it, but there's one in the bomb site. That's the bomb hitting the floor. The rest of Astralis is stuck inside. Hut, two quick kills from Madden, and it's quickly just down to Blame F. He's taken away as well, and ends to respond in the second round. I find it hard not to do that without also doing it in real life. <laughs> Yeah, I can actually imagine that. Good shot from Hades, good follow-up from Hades. He's killing everyone. He's got three so far. He's got four now. And Blame F is there in that position with the scout, but the rest of his teammates have arrived to steal the ace away from him. Spink says, nope, no joy for you. Madden will find it at the end. That's a the, dangerous rotation. It is to get up on, onto the A-bomb side yet again with just 25 seconds, but... They are going for it. Spinks is calling it in, saying, I need some backup here. Nice job on the MP9. Maybe not that much backup needed. Config's going to fall to Dihar, and it's just Blame F on his own. He'll get that kill. Looking for it. He actually had the right idea, and still has 10 seconds. If he can get behind and maybe put the bomb down, it's possible for him to try and clutch it. Oh, but they're already on top of him. Hades out in the open. He misses the shot, and he goes for it. Oh, Blame F, great triple. 
absolutely wonderful work. He makes the Benjamins, and he is Benjamin, Moses. It's perfect. <laughs> Man, if Hades is going to make that kind of an aggressive play with that low HP, you got to complete it. You got to uh, you gotta go for it. He kind of stops. He, like, realizes, I think, too late that he doesn't have the speed to actually stop the plant. Yeah. And he gives Blame Up the time to set his feet. And then, obviously, it's tough for Snappy to react and predict which side of the silos he's going to come out on. He's actually up here very late. I'm actually, I'm very disappointed that he hasn't seen anyone over the smoke. Yeah, I'm bummed that he didn't get rewarded for that. That's a cool play. Spinks at the off angle as they turn around this corner, spots the leg of Config. They line up. Oh, he sprays them all down. Three kills for Spinks. Boom. And then, no one's checking this. 40 seconds to try and find a bomb plant. Fadi probably has to do that on his own. If he can get a kill, get the bomb plant down while leaving Blamef across the map. Ooh, and actually, Blamef is finding DR outside. But the, the main portion of this is still not going to happen. Oh, no. They're going to go back up. Yes, he is. No. Uh, they might have found a way out, possibly. Madden going to be able to stop the bomb at the very least. 18 seconds, and Blamef's in a lot of trouble once again here. He's picked up the bomb, and he sneaks back down below. Snappy's here. Yeah, he is there. And with 10 seconds oh, left, there's gosh. nothing Blamef could do. <laughs> that is a cool read from Snappy, but that round got way closer. It is definitely with the right idea. Dihar's going to come back and check since they haven't gone down. Or maybe they're up, and that is some godlike timing. What more could you want? Maybe to fall back and help out Snappy would be the next logical step, although he's going to be a little bit late for that one. Snappy will go down, and they actually challenge it. Farling pushing through, and he gets caught by Diha. Third kill of the round for him. Still a very, very good best of three for him so far. Blameth nearly drops on top of it. Two versus three. Sphinx knows this is a point of danger. It's all about timing when he looks back behind him. If someone ever just comes all the way out to the left, those footsteps will give it up. Now Sphinx hears him looking between the silos. Here's one drop as well. This is perfectly played from Sphinx. Taking the above fight, spraying down as well. Blameth never got a chance to put the bomb. Really getting much and them getting all his utility. I think that part would be would not be good. 35 seconds and surely they're going to come help out. Oh, the jump right through. It's a pretty good jump. They're going to find him after just the one kill. So far, so good on the side of Astralis. And Bob Plow oh, Hades. Commence. Hades, yeah, he was not ready for it. Config closes the door and sticks to fight. Madden goes down. <laughs> Absolutely amazing for Config. Bit of a boost going on with the AWB on top. So, going to find Blamef. Not expecting it. And that, I think. I think did Spinx also find the gun? I think they know there's three people on the bomb site. I think they know everything because of the because of the boost and the uh, and the rifle. They can maybe even just guess it. Farley coming back, but Sif goes down. Spinks running in and chasing them as they go for the ramp. And Madden's right here. Glaive is so low on health and he's gone. Oh no. Astralis. They had kind of an opening, but not so much anymore. Config trying to find his way back in the round. It's now gonna be a one-on-one, -on -one cause. Farlik showed up with the tech nine to execute Hades. 35 seconds. You don't have that much time to play this slowly. Because you have to you have to calculate for the fact that you might need to go and get the bomb. Snappy won't let him, but if you play that down to 10 seconds, obviously, even if you get the bomb, you can't really do it. So gives them a couple of rounds to buffer with here. Rush onto the A-bomb site from the Astralis side. Sphinx is going to get the one, but good return. Snappy shows up, but they're kind of funneling into the bomb site one at a time. And in the end, Astralis will trade favorably three versus two now. And they have time. They don't have to run to get this bomb down right away. They can secure mini, make sure someone's covering upper as well. They're waiting for it. There's a huge gap right there. Dihar's thinking about it with the Famasa, and he actually wins the fight. A little bit shocked. And now it's a two on two. That's Diha's smoke that he put down, so he knew there was going to be that space. He uses it to gain cover, make sure no one can peek him in the bomb site. He can clear out door. Great play from Diha. As you mentioned, having a fantastic game. Three on two for Astralis turns into a one on two. But it's Zipix. Yes, it is. But so far, with only four kills, they're coming in from the high ground. He gets one, but Hades. Good return. Headshot on that AWP making. Snappy's over at the control side windows in the lower bomb site. That leaves this. Diaz in the worst position possible. He's got to worry about three choke oh, points no. at the moment. And Hades, they obviously have no idea. I think Diaz is just going to be a, a free kill inside the site. There's no communication. This is open. As soon as they look down, yeah, freebie. And there's Hades coming up. Man, that just the presence from Glaive 
Calls yeah. it over rotation, and what a disaster for Entz in the final round of this half. The only thing going for him is Madden has the bomb down in front of him, but he's got three to find. That really is a shocking lap. You're absolutely right. They had a really good shot at getting this one. And Madden, I think Sip already knows, and he's going to take him down. Astralis getting around that was very unlikely right at the end of the half. And this is the final half to decide who is going to Lisbon to play in the arena. It's going to be wild, and someone else is going to be going home. Only one team can make it out of this match, and Glaive has gone down early on. Farleg's here, though. Farleg's on the cross. Oh, that's oh. perfect! More perfect from Farleg. And now he's got a teammate. It's config to add another. That's so brutal. Beautiful work down there. Slaying Ents players as they come along. Config with one more headshot. I think Glaive went down, and every kill after that is one bullet. One. Two. <laughs> now config. One. Good night. Give us two. Oh, he ruined it. He did ruin it. All right, it's not as cool anymore. If that backfires, we would have been saying, oh, well, that's the danger of playing with Config, you know, but it's also what makes it so hard to play against Config. How do you see that coming? He's just pushing in to get the kill. Now DR's gone down to Sip, and you're playing five versus three, and you're still hanging around in lobby. Yeah, and trying to come through smoke as well. This has all gone to hell for Ents. It's gotten discoordinated, discombobulated, and disconnected, and that's going to be a 10th round for Astralis. They're the first to take double digits in the game. One versus five. And as absurd as it seems, still a lot to be accomplished in a round like this if you can get a couple of kills. There's one of them, but especially if it's two more. Molotov, ooh, oh, if he could have thrown it further, it would have been even better, but there's no way for him to know. 20 seconds now. Winning the round is not an option here, but one more kill on Glaive. That's armor, that's grenades gone, and obviously the SMG as well. Yeah, they're going to try and see. I mean, again, you get one good opening. It's probably worth it. Convict hanging around on the actual door itself, which you can't sit on. Finally going to fall back this time, which I appreciate. Instead of sticking out there, you can probably... Oh, he's going to come back for more. And there's an AK waiting. Molotov down. Astralis don't give up this round. We were praising Astralis for these calls when they did them on the T side. And Ens has just done the same thing. That's so cool to see. Sip can come look for someone here. Snappy runs out with a tech nine, but he can't land the headshot. And Sip swings around to bring him down. Diha and Hades are now left. And that bomb is planted. It's been ticking for a minute now. Hades sneaking back around, and he's going to find the opening. Brings down one. The spray is in for the headshot. And now Blamef is on his own. And they found everything they wanted in this round. Blamef, you might as well try and go for the defuse. It's not going to happen. Hades <laughs> will take down everyone that's left in the round. And what a beautiful way to get another round and equalize the score. And Blamef in a decent position. They check it though, there's two of them out there. They're gonna try and wrap around. And he'll stop Snappy, ready for the fight is the half. Madden takes the one, the bomb is on the ground, but config. How long can he leave with the MP9? Not much longer, he did get Hades. Finally, one versus two. It's doable with the AWP even. Sphinx is the real target. Dihar's already low on health and he's not gonna check both sides of the road. And you should always do that, Jason. Farlek reads this. He's already going to ramp room. He can't stop the plant, but maybe he can pin down Spinks. Smoke is going to help Spinks escape afterwards. Farlik might have one chance. He's going to see if he jumps back across. He has a Molotov as well, Farlik, but even throwing that, it has an element of... Oh, oh no! He was out in the open, and Farlik did not see that coming. He never expected it. Can the A bomb site hold with only two people? They've actually done a good job and sort of manipulating this defense to be very weak on this A side. Farlik misses the first shot, misses the second. I'm not sure he's going to get a third at this point. Blamef tries to help out. Config goes down. Oh, another miss. It's Glaive in the back to try and save the round. And Hades, he can get the kill, but he's running out of time here. 16 seconds. Snappy's controlling the high ground. They have got the bomb picked up at the very least, and they're going to get the plant anyway. Glaive, he nearly had the round. Oh, no. Low on health is Blame F and Snappy. He's got the right idea. AK in hand, and he sees that. He didn't even have to be that quick. One bullet would have done it. And now it's on Sip. And no grenades in a one versus two. And he knows where Snappy is. Up there, but he can't hit the shot. I don't even know where the bullets went, but it's going to be the round for Ents. Not much they could do with these pistols. They need another miracle. They've already had a few of them, Astralis. 
How many more could you really ask for? Double set up behind the box and finally able to pick that one up. Steals the AK. I don't know, this could work if he wins the next fight out here and he will against Snappy and that's the bomb on the ground and Dihas already low on health. Scary position to hold right here, but they're making their way past 15 seconds. Door is going to be the sound cue. Yep. Now they know, and Sips walking up right behind them, and timing, it's almost immediate, and that's the high health player, Spinks is gone, and Diha, one bullet away here, Astralis. I don't know what they sacrificed to get this miracle, but they've almost got it, and Diha's, he's got nowhere to stand. They're gonna know, they saw him jump into the corner, so they realize where he is. Now behind the silo, obviously no kit in play, but they're gonna cruise into the bomb site. Farlik making up for earlier, and Astralis, Holding in case someone tries to rotate that way. Farlik, he's got his eyes on the control room with Sip. Has to cover basically this and right behind him. There's the early kill. Sip revealing his position though. And Farlik doesn't get to escape. He's dead already. Nice shot from behind from Diha. Able to get the job done and they can't really get down here. They, they have to surrender the round. Because the pressure is absolutely on right now for both teams. This is typically where you start to see more and more players make mistakes. Hades, though. I think 25 kills at the end of this round. Oh, that's wild. That is not bad at all. Double Try and stop them. Double off on the T side as well. Sphinx has one just playing super passive, but he missed this. He missed this. Oh, I can't believe they checked. They might have heard a sound cue. Somebody, I think Sphinx might have called it last second. Oh, he's in trouble. On the ground. Deagle's out. He got knifed, but he still finds the kill. <laughs> what now? Oh, they're gonna go. This is perfect. There's no one here. Yeah. yeah. Round done. Yeah, that is the big upside. You're right. They kept quite a lot of money in the bank to be able to try and go on a bit of a run here on their own. They need three in a row without making really any mistakes. Man. And so close. And this would be obviously amazing. They've already had a really cool year, but this would be the cherry on top right here. Here we go, 15 to 12, pressure towards Mini already, blowing over the door, expecting a reaction. And they almost got it with that flashbang, but they're gonna fall dead, it's gonna end it right now. Onto the bomb site we go, Farley gets up high and he'll get the one kill, but this is still pretty good. Traded evenly into the site, it's a three on three. And they're gonna go for the bomb plant, no, they fake it out for a minute. They want to see if anyone is crazy enough to come running through. Sip. Oh, God. Oh, oh they no. go right down, and that M4 is going to eat them. Oh, no. He jumps on top and no scopes him. Sip is gone out of the round, and now it's a 2 on 2. And this time, the bomb is going to be planted, but how do you get down to actually do it? Diha is ready and waiting in this smoke. I don't even know if he could see it, but he got the headshot anyway. And Farlek in the corner. He knows where he is, and he has to do this before Diha shows up. Oh, he's so dead. There it is. And they make the final and knock out Astralis. That's incredibly impressive from Ents. What a run they've had through the spring showdown. Even shutting down a red-hot Astralis, a lot of people started having faith in what we've seen. Positive signs, not making it all the way. But Ensign, their ability to adapt and find solutions is absolutely incredible.